Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing the three watercolor challenge. As you can see, I have my 24 set of core watercolor tubes in a hat and I will be choosing them out blindly at random. So here we go. Okay, our first color is gold. Our second color, blue. And we have Oh gosh, a green. Kind of basic, but I guess we'll just have to see what we can do with it. Here we go. So at first I was kind of thinking about what I could draw that would kind of go well with green, blue, and yellow, but to be honest, nothing was really coming to mind right away. So I figured I would just do a regular person and just see what kind of results I would get out of these three colors. So after sketching my figure, I swatched the three colors, then I mixed each one for a, I guess, secondary color, and then I just kind of blended them together to see what would happen. So after I kind of planned out my colors, I got to work. Ignoring the fact that I forgot to record the first portion of my painting, I think I got kind of lucky with the gold color because it kind of made a pretty regular skin tone. It was pretty easy to work with and I didn't have too much trouble working with that. However, as you can see, I decided to go, I guess, a little different with my usual style. Because I had a limited color palette and things weren't going to be as smooth as they were if I were to draw it my normal style, I thought it would be fun to play around with a looser and more painted looking style. The way I drew was, I guess, semi-realistic combined with my usual style, and then the way I painted was just loose and, I guess, blocky with the colors, so you can kind of see each stroke and things don't really blend in well. It was a lot of fun. I usually take these challenges as a way to kind of experiment with the way I draw and try something new because sure it's challenging to kind of play around with the color palette that you had no control over, but at the same time if this is going to be an illustration that I have no control over, I might as well use this as an opportunity to kind of explore different ways to draw and just kind of have fun with it and experiment a little bit. I know this isn't going to be a masterpiece, so why not try something new? There's also debate around whether you should do the line art first before starting the challenge or doing the line art depending on the colors that you choose. I think both sides have their own, I guess, advantages and disadvantages. I don't think it's really any harder to have a line art already ready to go and having to work around the colors that you chose because if you ended up with a purple, a green, and a blue, you are still not going to have a skin tone and you could still decide to push yourself to try to do a person anyways. I guess it just depends on how much you want to challenge yourself and in what ways you are looking to challenge yourself, but I think in the end, you're not going to end up with colors that really work for anything and you're either trying to solve the problem of getting the colors to work or you're trying to solve the problem of what can I create with these colors because I think it is a challenge on its own to come up with an idea that is based off of three colors. So as usual, the art community has its own opinions here and there and I think as long as you're having fun with these challenges, who cares? I just want to create art and create something and push myself to problem solve with my illustrations. So back to the art. Because I was doing a looser watercolor style, I thought it would be interesting to incorporate my, I guess, broken line art style that I do with my sketches. I think it really helps kind of drive that loose and textured look because the lines are all broken, it adds a little bit more visual interest, and I really like the way it looks. It's loose, it's sketchy, but at the same time the style is very cohesive and it's really brought together nicely. That being said, I don't know if it's the blue hair or the style I went with, but this is very, I guess, anime inspired looking, which no offense to anybody who draws anime, but it is super not what I want to aim for with my art style. I think it might just be the blue hair. If he had brown hair, I'm sure that he would look way less anime. 
but I think the blue hair plus the like super shininess that I put up there just really, really makes it look anime, which is kind of funny because I was experimenting with style and out pops this anime style. Who'd have thunk it? So after I finished coloring and line arting my character, I really didn't like it just being on this white background. So I put some plants and just a lot of visual interest behind the character. And I thought it would be fun to use the three colors behind him. Now I didn't use the colors straight out of the tube because that, that blue is just, oof, it's way too bright for my taste, which I kind of regret with his hair, but that's okay, that's okay. I guess I will survive. So I just put a little bit of decoration with the three colors behind him and I think that kind of just adds a little bit to the background so it's not just white. And with that, I completed the three watercolor challenge. I think I was pretty successful. Um, the skin tone is a little yellow, but what can you do? Other than that, I think my experimenting with the style was very fun and I had a lot of fun with this challenge. Like I said, one of the things I really enjoy about art is the problem solving, whether it being a prompt, the colors that you are limited to, or the style. It's really fun to solve a problem with your art and coming up with a result or a solution that looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this three watercolor challenge and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Eve Milady, Love Was Weird, Michael Young, Hope Poops, Sarah James, Josh Perry Buck, Alice Tries, and Nerdy Curls. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye!